Yeah, hold your horses. I'm looking through my kitty feeds now, man. Ladies and gentlemen, pervert Cole. Fucking menace. Let's wreck his world. Bath time. I got a never-ending supply. Okay, so when can we meet? Because I need something new for the week. <laughs> uh, prices are going up, Chris. This is the exclusive material I'm providing. One customer, one kid. <laughs> man, you're not the only dealer in town anymore. This is primo. Oh, hold on, Grizz. Ah, what the fuck are you doing, Grizz? I didn't do anything. Well, can you hear me? Yeah, I think that was on your end, man. Must be a bad connection. Um, okay, okay what was I saying? Something about screwing me. Fuck me! Grizz, are you still there? Trial labor piece of shit! <laughs> Six, eight, eleven. Jesus, everyone wants preschool. What the fuck is going on in here? What the fuck did I ever do to deserve this shit? Thousands of dollars down the drain. It's not one thing, it's another. Who, who, who's doing that? Flies on somebody. Get, get the fuck out of my house. Get the fuck. I'm gonna fucking find you. I'm gonna fucking what find you. you I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Did you get all that? Yep. Jesus Christ. I wish I could reach through the camera and strangle that guy. Don't worry. This footage is already circulating. Society will do the strangling soon enough. Yeah, we'll try getting hacked at the cafe and having someone steal your company's startup information. Are you serious? Fucker sold my app idea to a venture capitalist. What the fuck? Unbelievable. Now, Marcus, one of our latest followers sent me this. Consider it a follow-up on home CEO. Yo, check it. I was on the treadmill when this pissy looking guy came up with the trainer and kicked me off. Dickhead looked familiar, so I asked around the gym. It was Steven Bader, the guy in charge of home. I guess waiting for a treadmill is too lowly for rich assholes like him. What would you guys think about shooting a little exercise fail video starring the CEO of home? Steven Bader? I'd love to have another go at humiliating that pompous ass. Why an exercise video? Peeping Steve is at the gym right now. Buckle in and get ready for a show, my friend. <laughs> Christmas is coming early this year. I'm back. Contract has been called. Good one. system look like to you? CTOS Junior. So it wouldn't surprise you to know that they've got a deal going on with Bloom. After what we just did to them? Yes. I bet all deals are off now. What were the terms? CTOS code is the base of home software. Collected data sold back to Bloom. At a hefty discount, of course. Sounds like we showed up at the right time then. <laughs> provider of smart houses in the Bay Area is facing allegations that it violated homeowner privacy. Leaked documents reveal that home is selling private user information, primarily to health insurance companies, by accessing their own monitoring system. 
spokesperson for the company, Elena Chow, said that the information sold isn't in any way breaching users' privacy, and that all of this information is available on the company's end-user license agreement. Okay, there's our CEO. I hope he enjoys the workout we're about to give him. Knock him off his cankles. Working on my sprints. I got this. <laughs> Since when do you want peace? I mean metaphorical peace. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Hey, man, shit, what's, shit. What, hey, what's going on? I was looking at our numbers, how many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we had available, and that's when I saw it. It, what, it, what? A chunk of our followers and bots came from inactive or dead invite accounts. Hey, wait, so someone used a social media site to boost our numbers? Who? And how many fucking accounts, I man? don't know who, but it came from inside invite. Someone with admin access, I'm sure of that. As for how many... Fuck Sorry. Me. Sorry, I didn't check. It's... No, it's all my fault. I didn't check. Josh, no, I didn't check. You know, maybe someone inside invite is a fan. Yeah, or maybe we're getting set up to get fucked. Check. Check. We need to find out. Marcus, find your way inside. I should have just Josh, checked. Josh, it's not your fault, okay? Look, we all saw the numbers. You're the only one who caught it. You did good. You did good. Huh?
Sending you the flagged accounts. Use the CEO's computer, Mary Catskill. She's on vacation, so her office should be empty. Everything going to break down today? I unlocked the elevator. Heading there now. Heading up. I'm gonna get us some answers. Good luck, Marcus. We're with you. Trying to figure out who boosted our numbers. Whoa, whoa. What happened? The flag clients just vanished. We lost the bots. What did you do? Nothing. This isn't me. I... Marcus, is this a bad time? Sort of feels like a bad time. And she drinks it with ice. I don't really need to introduce myself, do I? I know who you are. That night at the beach, man, I knew you looked fucking familiar. You well, know, Venus must have been in retrograde or some bullshit because I think it was fate that I was in the night that you hacked into our system. I had to meet you, and there you were, pissing on your sneakers. All brains and no aim. What's Bloom's CTO doing in the office of the CEO of Invite? And why'd you boost our numbers? Uh, this is the part where you offer me a six-figure salary? <laughs> no, fuck no. No, no, no. You could coat circles around most of my programmers. No, see, I can't pitch uh, CTOS 2.0 as a state-of-the-art security system and then... hire someone that's on the no-fly list. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just came here to have a drink. But hey... If you want to have a drink and a dance, I'm in. Oh, you think it's a fucking joke? Huh? Do it. Roll a fucking punch. <laughs> you got everybody eating out your fucking hands thinking the system's bulletproof? 
You can't see the people you're stepping on. Guess what, Marcus? Guess what? The people want to be told who is good and who is bad. They don't care how it works, only that it does. But it doesn't fucking work. A few fucking civilian casualties is the cost you have to pay for the betterment of the world. You're fighting a war no one gives a shit about. Now they're just swimming upstream right into the grizzly's mouth. So why'd you prop up dead sex numbers? There's no one in Silicon Valley could throw a proper punch. That, and you're a great investment. You're so aggressive, so indignant. You frightened the rest of Silicon Valley right to my doorstep. You used us to sell CTOS 2.0 to them. What is the ultimate deterrent against hackers like you? And how? Everyone needs my protection. So, here it is, Marcus. Your record is back on file. Your backdoor access is plugged. And those bots I gave you, they're gone. Oh, 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 and there's a warrant out for your arrest. Hacking, corporate espionage, and breaking and entering. It's OK. I was done with it anyway. to the 
Marcus, it's getting too hot out there for you. Come back. We'll figure this out together. Not that bad. We look like a bunch of chumps. Stop! Fucking damn it! Wrench, calm the fuck down. It's not helping. Yeah, you're right. It's not helping. Marcus, you got anything to say? Well, guys, I, to be honest with you, uh, I genuinely don't have a plan. But I got an idea, and... I don't know, just trust me on this one. Things haven't been great lately. Yeah, they suck. But whatever shit we're in now, that's now. You helped us find our voice. We took on the Giants and had one motherfucker of a run. Never thanked you for any of it. Hey, why are you talking like it's over? Isn't it? I'm still in. I know you are, and we can convince others that you're not in. These are from our DedSec channels. DedSec is not worthy. 
DedSec is a bunch of skiddies. You told us lies and bullshit. Hashtag dead suck. Yeah, so we got some shit stirrers. Who cares what they think? Who cares what they... Jesus, Marcus. Have you been paying attention? I care what they think. I've worked my ass off for years, trying to earn us respect long before you ever showed up. This is my brand. Now it's completely fucked. So unfuck it. I don't know if I can. Uh, well, if it makes you feel any better, at least you're not a fugitive. <laughs> oh, damn. I wonder if there's a bounty on your head. Maybe I can salvage this. Oh, please. Hey, you couldn't catch me if you wanted oh, to. Oh, you're talking to a track star, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Want to have him? Yeah, me neither. If I gotta drag their asses out to the middle of the desert to keep DedSec together, I'm gonna do it. DedSec's come too far to give up now. Swelter Skelter's third annual Jabberwock Hacking Challenge begins soon at the Center Sculpture. Come show us what you've got. Josh, who's your friend? Oh, this is Susan. She's a second grade teacher from Milwaukee. She's 32 and she drives a cherry red. Cool. Hey, we're gonna meet by the big sculpture for a group shot before the challenge. Um, whenever you're ready. Didn't mean to, uh, step on your game here. Game? Uh, we're not playing a game. I was just explaining to Susan how if your low speed mixture adjustment is too rich, your engine's going to buckle under all the excess fuel. That's a four cycle idle and that can be a no no. Yep, sure can. Okay, well, I'll see you out there. Have you heard about New Dawn? Yeah, we may have crossed paths before. What's the church doing all the way out here? Look at these people. They flock here to find meaning. No, they flock here to get wasted and fuck. Sounds to me like you're lost. I'm lost? Look at you. You're in a fucking cult. Instead of doing what the rest of us do, trying to get out here and figure it out for ourselves, you decided to let a bunch of scam artists make all your decisions for you. You checked out. You don't get to judge other people. Uh, if you would just take a pamphlet, it explains. Yeah, fuck your pamphlet. Mark, 
Always. But not dead sex. Doesn't feel right, you know? Come on, don't bum me out here. I'm trying to have a good time. Me too. So we, as in dead sec we, are gonna enter that hacking challenge and we're gonna win. And the others are okay with this? They will be. I got a nice smile. Well, you do have a nice smile. <laughs> See? No problem. We're gonna do this. Everything's gonna be okay. You've got it all figured out, huh? Nah. But I do know if I get you back in Satara mode, you'll figure out most of it for me. <laughs> Damn. You are dangerous. Meet us by the ugly sculpture when you're ready. All right, see you there. Hey. Washington. Is that your name? Adams. All right. Jefferson. So you're naming off presidents in order. This is some kind of art thing? Madison. Monroe. Adams. Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> I get you, man, I get you. Van Buren. How are you? Don't think you'll find the answer out there, Marcus. What is this? Teach you to run your mouth. Man, what you working on? Gonna get these people moving. But they need a proper track list. This shit barely has a pulse. DJ ratio. Just ratio. Back when I used to do sets. Hey, maybe I'll go back to it. What else am I gonna do now? Man, dead sex not over. We hit a pothole, that's all. We're gonna come back stronger. You're always so sure of yourself. I know. But I'm always right. Wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Ah, oh, yeah, that's much better. Locked their DJ out of his tools, too. The savior of the party. Hey, once you're done giving these guys a hard time, meet me in the middle. Dead sex entering the competition. I'll be there. This isn't a fair fight. Oh, it's so not fair. Little guy's gonna get the shit kicked out of him. But that's what makes it fun, right? We like to watch a little guy take his lumps. Yeah, I mean, so he can get back up on his feet again and overcome, right? You're trying to turn this into a metaphor for dead set, aren't you? I mean, if you want to keep dead set going, I'm right there with you. But if you're putting your metaphor money on that weirdo, no. He's going down and staying down. <laughs> yeah, it's a long shot. Hey, are you joining us for the competition? Yep, I'm down. Well, this party just flushed itself down the toilet, thanks. Nice costume, Lenny. But I think you'd look better in a heat stroke. Uh, honestly, I'm surprised to see you here. Last I heard, you suck pockets got your balls snipped. Huh. Yet yeah, nobody ever hears anything about primate. This is fun. Are you having fun? I was. Can we just agree that this is neutral ground? All right, neutral ground. But I don't trust you. Tough. I don't trust you either. Tough.
All right, people, gather up. We need a group shot. Hey, try to look pretty for the camera, huh? Always. Okay, looks like the challenge is starting. Hey, Josh, get on the numbers and feed it answers. Wrench, you got the jab of what? Get it wired up and ready. Ratio, I need you to run an appearance on a route. Slow him down. Satara and I are gonna hack this thing. <laughs> Let's get it. Dead set. Let's go, guys. Drone's up there if you need a better view. I'm inside. Almost there. Okay, what is this? <laughs> nice. Throwing up the horns and punctuating them. We should focus. There seems to be a timer. Think you can hack it? Of course. Stop fucking moving. Don't mess with Satara. Thanks.
catch on fire. You cannot catch on fire. Told ya. That is dope as fuck. The Jabberwock with eyes of flame. Who are you? I'm John. Tatanka. Hey, I'm Horatio. How's it going? What's good? I'm Marcus. Who are you? I'm Ray. I should have put more juice in. It's good. Ah. Hey, you kids want to feed your heads? Two ounces of sacrosanct mind fun. Man. People, I am going offline now. See you on the other side. Oh, Horatio, you good, man? The word good has lost all meaning, my friend. Okay, you good? Mm. Did I forget to mention that these boomers had a little acid bath? Uh, Josh? It's okay, they're using hallucinogens in clinical trials for... Nice bees. Nice, nice bees. <laughs> Josh is feeling it. Okay, let's go find something for you to stare at. Huh? <laughs> okay. Okay. Come on. You're not Ray. You were Ray, Raymond Kinney Ray. I, I still got your old hacker zines, man. I remember reading War Driver and gearing up my 10 speed, backpack with an antenna. Shit, I even used your old root kit, man. Fuckster? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> well, I assumed you were all just skitty pests. Correct me if I'm wrong, but. Your crew seems to have a lot of unfocused noise. You the leader? The fine world. <sighs> no, man, it doesn't work like that. Dead sex got a rule. No personal armies, no leaders. Yeah. Well, FYI, I saw you leading out oh, there. Man, this is everything we're fighting against. The system back home is completely fucked. And any kid out there on the sand is gonna say the exact same fucking thing. Easy words, bro. Easy words. All right. A few years ago, this broken-ass system marked me as a criminal risk. Linked me to some shit I didn't even do because it was probable. And now, with CTOS, it's everywhere. I mean, I, I can see it down to the... <laughs> the to the sub subliminal shit. You just multiply. Yeah, we have a tendency to do that. What you call subliminal is a bellwether, Marcus. You got a short eye, kid. But subliminal is passive. Bellwether program is control. It's like a Orwell Huxley double punch profile. Media manipulation, corporate collusion, consumerism, all driven by predictive algorithms. And now, it's setting up shop in the heart of the Silicon Valley. And somebody at Bloom's using CTOS to feed it data. You're recruiting. Fuck up. Let's Boy, go. Man. Uh, I just spent the night in a pup tent next to a lady who was very nude and very tattooed. Good for you, girl. No, you don't get it, man. She was the sons of Ragnarok bride. I guess we gotta go, man. We gotta fucking vamoose now. Come on. Sons of God.
Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so you said you guys fucked up. How bad is it? Yeah, we all at risk now because my name's got a red flag on it. Yeah, people are gonna start making the connections. Yeah, where the fuck is everyone? Is that all? It's enough. We're talking about Bloom here. Hey, and you're talking to Bloom's public enemy number one, son? Yeah, I've been dodging those bastards for years. If you want, I could scrub you from the system. If you give me a couple hours. Just like that? Well, I might have to sacrifice a goat as part of my arcane ritual, but yeah, just like that. <laughs> there you are. We've been looking for you all morning. Turns out Swelter Skelter doesn't have a lost and found. <laughs> nah, it's more of a finder's keeper's policy out there in the desert. What in the hell is he doing here? Yeah, Marcus, why did you invite this stranger into our house? Look, look, it just happened, all right? We were running from these bikers, right? And look, you know what? It doesn't even matter. He's cool. Oh, he's cool. Well, that's good. Because we usually discuss these things as a group. I know. It's my bad. But you met Ray already, right? I want to introduce you to Raymond Kinney. That's Raymond Kinney? I thought you'd be cleaner. Yeah, I get that a lot. Can I have a hug? Um, yeah, I have a two-second room. <clears throat> I get this a lot, too. Can we keep him like a hacker in residence? Yeah, we could use his help. He should, he can, he, he can stay here, right? He should, he should stay here. Okay, fine. But if he fucks with any of us, I'm gonna pop his nuts like ripe grapes. Message received. Nice hat. Nice mask. Okay, we're good. You want a beer? Uh, yeah, I would love a beer or two. Oh, thank you. Grab the man some hardware, too. He's gonna teach us some magic. Marcus, I was just reading comments from DedSec members. Our New York members set fire to a new Dawn Center. Are we okay with that? That's what happens when you have a group with no rules or leaders. You can work towards a basic message, but you can't control every reaction. Our message on this one is right. You just have to be good with that. Yeah, okay. I'm good with that. Are you good with that? Yeah. What's up? So what happens when we finish here? What's next for the great Ray Kinney? Well, I suppose Frewer and I will move on to it. Oh, fuck. What? Oh, I left Frewer in the desert. What's a Frewer? Many scientists have worked hard to figure that out with no conclusive results. Anyway, don't worry about me, kid. You ever need a hand with anything, I'm in. You have a bat signal or something? No, but I'm adding that to my to-do list. Kid, ready to change the world? I got something for you. Marcus Holloway, scourge of the church. Come on, Marcus Holloway. Bane of tablet fakery. Awful! Marcus Holloway, Duskbringer of the New Dawn. Oh, I like that one. Let's go with that one. It's looking like Cyber Driver might wind up the surprise hit of the year. <laughs> well, we won't hold our breath for a thank you card from HMP. <laughs> nope. Hey, 
Hey, yo, T-Bone, I'm ready, man. I'm pumped. No, seriously, activist mode, activate. Hey, man, how do we get Bloom? <laughs> <laughs> what? Hold on to your joystick, son. You kids are gonna need to work your way up to Bloom, even with me help. Ray, are you briefing him without me? We were supposed to do that together. Oh, uh, no, I just didn't want to trouble you. What trouble? No trouble. Come on, Marcus, let's brief. Okay. So, let's... let's look at the big shot data harvester. Our friends at Noodle. Now, every time you search for discount refrigerator or bulldozer porn, they learn more and more about you. Data profiling 101? Uh, right. But what you didn't know was that Bloom's already got their grubby paws all over that data. Oh, shit. Oh, this is good, Sitar. Noodle's data is just what Bloom needs to strengthen the bellwether. Dig their puppet strings in deeper. You know, if we could get a hold of this ammunition, we could take down a whole lot of different targets. I can help with that. You can't hack Noodle unless you get into the server farm. You can't get into the server farm without clearance. Hell, you can't even get on the grounds unless you're an employee there. Who the hell you think Rob Zombie over here gets his intel from? Well, tell me you got clearance. <laughs> oh, man, I'm trying to stay low-key right now. One of my leads is breathing down my neck. I bet you Marcus can pose as an employee. Oh, he could do more than pose as an employee, Sitara. Tell him what you told me, Horatio. Noodle buses. I snagged an exploit for credentials. I could get you to the buses. All you gotta do is drive it in. They'll think you're one of the bus drivers. Shit. Yo, let's roll, son. All right. Hey. <laughs> uh huh. Let's do this. Hey. Auto save the moment you die. Yeah, that's a pretty big dick move on their part. Persistent world, my ass. Give me manual saves any day. Hey, you want me to dig out the old console for when you get home? God, yeah. You got it, baby. That one's on me. All right, you ready? Let's roll. Punched in the parking lot for you. Driver leaves it there every day to get his coffee. Beautiful. All right, man. Let me just say right up the top. I apologize for anything and everything you're about to see. You kidding? I'm getting an inside look at your alter ego, Horatio Carlin, corporate code jockey. Why do I get the feeling this whole thing was a bad idea? It's cool. I'll go easy on you.
Okay, now where's the GPS? Hey, sit, sit down. I got it. Okay, all right, right, just... All right, GPS. I know where the GPS is. Up, uh, up, uh, got it. There you go. Okay. I ain't got nothing in my pockets. Hi, how you doing? Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good hey, morning. how you doing? Good, Gary. Hey there. Hey. Live. Be free. Horatio! What are you doing first on the bus? What can I say? I'm an eager beaver. Anyway, the juicing has really turned my life around. I feel lighter, my mind freer. I hate to break it to you, but juicing doesn't do squat. You haven't tried my juice. I'm serious. What you want is the pulp. That's the healthy part. Juicing extracts all that. All you're drinking is sugar, smoothies. Now that's where it's at. Load them up with fruit, veg, superfoods. Superfoods? Yeah, like goji berries, maca powder, all that good stuff. You have a lot to learn. You know the science. So, yeah. You know the science behind superfoods is shaky at best. Well, they're health foods. You can't argue that. Yeah, but goji berries are as much a superfood as grapes are. It's a marketing buzzword designed to rope in consumers. No offense. Mm, awkward. You know, Marcus, there are times when I wish I was out doing what you're doing. And then there's today. Thanks, friend. I'm freaking choking on the pretentiousness in here. And here I thought Bloom employees were bad. Hey there. Nope. What? What? Uh, what? You're lucky this is San Francisco. What? What is he up to? The entertainment. Let's get back on track. Yeah, and the catering made me want to puke. I'd rather starve next time. This new sushi place is so not up to par. The soy sauce was so. As I was saying. Yeah, and the catering made me want to puke. I'd rather starve next time. This new sushi place is so not up to par. The soy sauce was so bland. My spicy tuna roll was anything but. Oh man, that is literally the worst. Liter what is he up to? Holy what? what is he up to? Thanks for the entertainment. Huh? That's not right. Yo, Horatio, man, I'm scared, bro. What? What is it? I'm about to look like us. Oh, man, welcome to Silicon Valley. Hey, what do you call a black man surrounded by thousands of white people? What? Mr. President. Hey, man, they see two of us together, they gonna think we plotting. We are plotting. Man, I feel so... Exposed. Hey, Horatio. Yeah, welcome to my world. There's only three other black people that work here. Two guys, one woman. We have our own mailing list. That's rough. But hey, you're fighting a good fight, changing the face of corporate life in the valley. <laughs> you haven't experienced corporate life until you're the only brother in a meeting and have to represent all of blackdom. Jesus. If I had a nickel for every time someone complimented me for being 
Well spoken. <laughs> so where's the server farm? Not here, I'm afraid. The whole thing's located hey, under the shield. Noodle Maps building. You'll need a whole other level of clearance to get in there. The managers upstairs can take care of that for you. Just do a repeat performance of the bus hack on one of them, and you're good to go. Let's hit the kitchen. Need fuel before another day of drudgery. Hey, uh, do you want a coffee? Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh, please, help yourself to a pomegranate. There to die for. You're so great. Thank you so much. Okay, neato. Carlin. Brody. Big day today, huh? I'm excited. How about you? You know, you could just tell us what you've been up to. Where you've been looking, who you've been just talking trying to. Trying to get coffee, you What was that? Just trying to get a coffee. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I'm sure you'll be more forthcoming with HR. <laughs> Enjoy that coffee. Watch it! Are you new here? Yeah. Hmm. Punk would love to lay his ass out. I can't stand that mother... Hey, Becky. Gentlemen. He's been watching my ass since the day I got here. Now he's saying I should be more forthcoming with HR? You think he's got something on you? Damn it. Do you have any idea how much jail time I'd be looking at? If I can get into the server farms, I can delete all that shit, all right? We got your back. You're not going in jail. I'll be in touch. All right? All right. All right. Pomegrapples. All right, Horatio, what's the plan for getting to the noodle server farm? Best option is the elevator maintenance area on the second floor of Noodle Maps. But watch yourself. Security's tight. Even I don't have access. No sweat. Sitara, it's a dead end. I need Horatio's code to get into the server farm. Any luck finding him? Got his GPS, but he's not responding. I'll patch you in now. The keystrokes on your computer is evidence enough to put you away. I just, I want to hear you say it. You have no idea how happy it'll make me to hear you say you fucked up. Look, man, I don't want to be the bad guy here. Here's your reality just between us. You will go to jail for cyber terrorism. That can't be avoided. But if you cooperate with us, maybe you'll get a reduced sentence. So why don't you just start talking to us and save us all some grief? What do you say, my man? What? Listen to this crap anyways. Come on, Nasman, where are you? Ugh. Don't touch it. All right, just, just leave. Right. It'll turn off on its own. Right. Maybe. 
You don't know a damn thing about. Sit. Sit, this place is a freaking circus. Side team morons better do something. You wired everything in the building to the same network down to the freaking toys. You think you can stop it all from going haywire? Yeah. Okay, and here's the hot tip. Just don't apologize. Just get it right in the first place. Yeah. You think? I know. Uh-huh. Oh, Jasmine, hi. We've I been know. With... Horatio Carlin needs a very serious accusation that you've been making. I have prepared it for two rooms. Well, uh, the evidence speaks for itself. Mr. Carlin, I'm going to ask you to follow me. You're the man, Horatio. Hang in there. They got things wired up pretty tight here. Wrong one. Mm-mm. This is it. That's it. Noodle's data is now dead sex data. I'm out of here, but Horatio's still in the spot. Can one of y'all help a brother out? We have access to every workstation in Noodle, including Horatio's and this Brody guy. I'm almost done sorting it out. Well, let's see. All right, done. Let's see how Horatio's doing. I'm sorry you chose not to cooperate with us. I would highly suggest you seek legal counsel. Yes. You tracked the keystrokes? I see. Thank you. Mr. Carlin. I... I'm um, so sorry. Apparently, we've made a, a huge 
mistake. I... What a surprise. My apologies. Yeah. You, you are free to go. I'm just glad you finally got it right. Whoa, 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 this is a mistake. I mean... Mr. Goodell, take a seat. I don't... Okay, I don't think... Sit that... down! Ratio, that was intense. You good? I'm better than good. Where you at? Meet me out front at the noodle bus. Hey, I'm in a massive cooling room. Any ideas on how I can get out of here? Yeah, I got you covered. There's a, a drainage conduit at the back that should take you into an exterior access. Nice, thanks. Swapped out Horatio's keystrokes with Goodale's? Nobody gives our Horatio a hard time and gets away with it. That's real crafty, Sitara. I'll take that as a compliment. Yo, how's the transfer going? It's gold, Marcus. Gold! Bloom's definitely tapped into Noodle's pipeline. They've even given Noodle limited access to their content. I'm all for singing Kumbaya, but this shit's got Dushan written all over it. For Bloom and Noodle to be cooperating like this, it's a major find. But it scares the fuck out of me. Oh, come on, guys. Noodle ain't that bad. Uh, hey, hey, enjoy yo. the dump, but save a beer for me, all right, Wrench? Right now, I've got some code to... Code. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate everything you did for me. For sure. But, uh, right now, can you get the hell out of here? You're making people nervous. <laughs> oh, hey, did you try Pomegrapple? It was good, right? <laughs> you look... like someone with a lot of valuable information. Tell me everything you know about that, sir.
community followers reported something strange. Anybody heard about a bunch of funky rat masks hanging around outside the MoMA? Bunch of self-described art anarchists calling themselves the Ordinate Academy. Rodentia Academy. It's an anagram. Good catch. What's their platform? Total transparency. No privacy for anybody. Then why the masks? These rat masks. What do they look like? Stylish. Hey, man, what's up? Low poly. Not much. Fuck. What's new with you? Oh, That's no default. Man. Default? The musician? Default, the ex-deadsec hacker. Default, the psychopath asshole who tried to gas me in his fucked up spook show house. Okay, I'm definitely gonna check these guys out then. Gives me a chance to meet one of the new followers, too. Suspects on foot! Oh shit, what the fuck? Uh, hello? Sitara, Josh? Suspect Please tell me this is not what I think it is. Marcus, you hear me? <sighs> yeah, I got you now. I'm getting trolled. Did our app server get hacked? Might want to get back here when you can. <laughs> Ooh. On second thought, 